hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So this is a review of a piece I read in Science Alert that was penned by Claire Watson, where she looks into a well-known supplement that may or may not help with aging. Longevity, it's the holy grail for some people. How to possibly slow aging or even wind back our body's biological clock as the years continue to tick on. And if it is as easy as taking one pill a day, then that's even better, according to Claire. Vitamin D has long been a favoured candidate since it's important for building muscle and bone, both of which typically waste away or weaken as we age. Studies have shown that without enough vitamin D, people's age-related risk of muscle loss and falls does increase. So would taking a vitamin D supplement help slow that decline or even reverse it? Well, Claire writes, it's complicated, just like aging itself. A new review from Italian researchers has surveyed the evidence to summarize what we know so far. Let's take a look, starting with what aging looks like on the biological level. The hallmarks of aging make for a long list of cellular changes. These include shorter telomeres, unstable genes, molecular markings on our DNA and chronic inflammation. But Professor Carmelinda Ruggiero, a geriatric specialist at the University of Perugia in Italy, and her colleagues explain in their paper these hallmarks are incredibly complex and highly interrelated, and the processes are not easy to detect. A general decline in physical strength and mobility tends to be the first clinical feature that doctors typically recognize in the aging process. Claire writes that clinicians have for decades recommended vitamin D supplements for people with osteoporosis and to help prevent bone fractures because a lack of vitamin D has been linked to both those conditions. This makes sense because vitamin D helps with calcium absorption. And although vitamin D is found in certain foods, it can be difficult to get enough from diet alone. Add to this, some people's potential lack of sun exposure and supplementation may be your best option. And if you're thinking of supplementing, please have a blood test taken and then discuss with a medical professional what your protocol should be. More recent clinical trials have found that vitamin D supplements do not necessarily prevent age-related bone loss or fractures in otherwise healthy people. The authors of this latest paper compiled observational studies and clinical trials examining the potential effects of vitamin D on the biological hallmarks of aging. They found the evidence is lacking, explaining that to date, evidence is scarce in humans and mainly based on preclinical animal models. Claire writes that some studies suggest vitamin D can slow epigenetic aging since people with low vitamin D levels are biologically older than those who have adequate levels. Vitamin D supplementation might also help reduce DNA damage. The authors noted that it does not seem to have an impact on telomere length, although some findings showed a protective role on telomerase activity in obese individuals. Claire goes on to write that there's also very little evidence about what dose or and what age vitamin D supplements might have a positive effect because there are so few human studies and that the findings of those studies are so very mixed. Some studies indicate that taking a specific dose of vitamin D would be safe for the general population, but that might not be true for everyone. She states that research has shown taking high doses of vitamin D can be harmful. I disagree with this. Vitamin D toxicity is a complicated and a much debated subject. Claire also writes that vitamin D supplements can also interact with prescription medications. This I do agree with. And as such, you should get a blood test to confirm your levels and then speak with a medical professional before you start any kind of supplementation. Claire then writes that it might seem logical to top up low levels of vitamin D, but the experts say consuming more vitamins in supplement form isn't necessarily best for your health. It could lead people to disregard other things they can do to improve their health and also to live longer, like eating a balanced diet and or going outdoors far more often. 
Professor Ruggiero and her colleagues conclude that despite the interest in vitamin D supplementation as a strategy supporting human longevity and some evidence about its potential in modulating the hallmarks of aging, we are still far from the point of translation from bench to bed. Now, I have to say, I've not seen anyone touting vitamin D as a specific longevity drug. I've seen some studies showing that those who are deficient in vitamin D are far more at risk from certain conditions and also certain diseases, but none stating that if you stay within a certain range, you are going to live longer. So I take 5,000 international units of vitamin D a day, and I have my vitamin D levels tested every three months to make sure I remain within the range. I don't think anything I've read in this piece by Clay Watson has convinced me to either reduce or stop my vitamin D supplement intake. And remember, vitamin D is not actually a vitamin. It's a hormone. And although there may be some questions about the efficacy of some health supplements, I don't think there can be any doubt that maintaining correct hormone levels, whatever they may be, is going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. Please let me know in the comments below if you do supplement with vitamin D and also let me know what you think of this latest study. And there's a link to this study in the description below. And if you'd like to learn more about vitamin D, please take a look at my supplement stack also in the description below where there's a link to a far more detailed vitamin D video. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy vitamin D from, check out the big three, Renew by Science, Donor Age and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do buy from one of these, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. And there are also specific links in the description below to these companies' vitamin D products. 